Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your Telegram message code. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now let's open up the Telegram app here. Let's say you just download it or you logged out and you're logging back in. And let's hit start messaging. It's gonna ask you for your phone number and then it's gonna text you a code. So I'm gonna enter in my phone number here and hit go. And is this correct? I'm gonna hit continue. Now on it says two-step verification is enabled. So I'm gonna enter in my password here and hit continue. And keep in mind, it might text you a code depending on whether you have two-step verification turned on or whether that two-step verification is turned off. Now keep in mind, if you're not getting that code texted to you, you're gonna head into your settings here. And first just scroll down to messages. And on here, let's scroll down to send as SMS. So make sure that is toggled off and then back on. Basically this resets your ability to send and receive SMS text messages from basically Telegram to get that code texted to you. The next step we're gonna do is swipe down from the top right. We're gonna turn on airplane mode and then we're gonna turn it back off. This basically disconnects from your cell signal, your service, and then reconnects basically to, in my case, AT&T, whatever cell provider you have. After you've done that, let's scroll down and we're gonna to toggle on filter unknown senders. This will help us to be able to see exactly where those codes are being texted. So open up your messages, tap on filters at the top left, and go to unknown senders. Basically, this will allow you to go directly in here to be able to see any of those unknown senders, including the text messages that come through for those specific codes. You can see it's usually about five digits long, so five numbers. Just be on the lookout for that code there. Keep in mind, again, if this doesn't really work very well, you can always turn on two-factor authentication with Telegram, which essentially allows you to add a password that you can use to log in instead of having a code texted to your phone. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.